Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Shay your AK Mojo Sports coming at you guys with a little national recap. I bought way too much stuff. Take a look at this. This is what it's gonna look like. Look at all these cards. But wait, there's more. So we're gonna recap this for you. Gonna give you a little recap of the national. I had a great time. I uh, just wanna say thank you to everybody that said what's up, shouted out the YouTube channel, and just filmed and, and hung out with us. If you've never been to the National before, I highly recommend next year Atlantic City. It is something you do not wanna miss. It's bigger than cards. I had so much fun just hanging out at the trade nights, hanging out with all the people that I've known on Instagram, on YouTube. I met people I'd, I'd never met before that I knew on the internet. And it's just, it was such a great just energy and everyone there was so awesome. Made some really cool deals, got some awesome sports card pickups, but most importantly, we recorded and documented some amazing memories and you can never you know, live those down. Uh, I really appreciate everyone's support on the videos. We hit 10,000 subscribers when we were in Chicago. It's insane, we're back now and uh, very excited to keep growing here. So thank you so much and I hope you guys enjoy the recap. Let's get into some cardboard. All right, so here we go guys. We're gonna show you guys some of the stuff we got at the National. There's tons of stuff to show so we're gonna try to get through most of it. I'm just gonna run through everything so We'll just run through uh, each of the things I picked up. There was some great deals. A lot of people asked me, you know, hey, were people overpriced and all that stuff. And, and I do gotta say that, you know, for the most part, if, if you really negotiated and you walked around and spent some time, there was some really good deals there. I will say that the one thing, if I could answer this question to anybody, the one thing I didn't pick up that I wish I could have picked up was a Tom Brady autograph. And you know, hey, he's the GOAT and you know, he, he was supposed to be expensive, right? <laughs> Um, I couldn't pick up a Tom Brady autograph, but that's all right. And I was kind of looking at a couple of LeBron James autographs, but I held off. But I did pick up a Patrick Mahomes autograph, which you guys will see in the video. But uh, let's just run through it. Uh, everything I picked up at the National. We'll start it off here. Um, I just picked up a simple Steph Curry lot. Um, thought, you know, I'm from California. It, it, was, it was nice to bring some Steph Curry cards home. These are just a lot of the 16, 17, 19, 20, and 18, 19 just cards. Um, so I picked up a Steph Curry lot, uh, nothing crazy about this, just thought, hey, he's got a bunch of Steph Curry cards, let's make a deal, and uh, ended up dealing for the Steph Currys. So we got those, and then we also picked up a Mike Trout lot. Like I said, guys, I was just really looking to pick up some cool stuff. I ex did not expect to fill so many, uh, I did not expect to fill a five row box, but I did, and I was going to have to ship some stuff home, but we didn't actually have to do that, which was lucky. But I'll uh, show you guys right here, we picked up some Mike Trout cards. A lot of these I can put in the kids packs because I know everyone loves Trout. And there's, you know, there's some cool, I thought there was some really cool action cards in there. Um, some Allen and Ginters, just over the years, Trout cards. This is pretty cool. Trout and Otani, that was in there. Trout Fire, the home run leaders. So these are just some really cool cards. This is Otani right here and Trout. It's actually a really sick looking card. Trout making a catch. So I, I, you know, you, you can never go wrong with Mike Trout cards. I was able to pick these up. You know, I think they were like 25 cents a pop, whatever they were, pretty solid right there. And then next, let's, let's start going through most of the other stuff. Picked up a bunch of Otani. These are all Otanis. Picked up the Purple Pacific Power. I thought this card was sick. It's a retail exclusive. It's Trout and Otani right there, high-fiving each other. Check that out. Pretty sick veteran combos, Mike Trout and Otani. And then I picked up all these Otani rookie cards right here, the holiday versions, Legends in the Making, some Update Series 1. Was able to do a deal for these at trade night. If you don't know about trade night, we, we just, that was the last video you guys probably watched. It was my most uh, recent video that it was uploaded yesterday. Trade night's awesome. Why is trade night awesome? It's, it's where card collectors pretty much get into a hotel and do, a, you know, we talk the hobby and a lot of late night deals get done. I've done some of my biggest deals at trade nights and actually, which is pretty impressive. So trade nights where it's at, if you haven't been to a trade night, how do you find out a trade night? Wherever the show is, usually in Dallas, we have the show, wherever the hotel hosting it was, that's usually where the trade night is. Or we put it on social media. I always tell people, make an Instagram account for your sports cards. You know, I'm not saying to show off, but you know, connect with the community and actually be a part of this thing. It's pretty sick and you can find, you know, good deals, you can find card shows, you can find trade nights and all that stuff. So, it's really cool. Actually, speaking of trade night, this is pretty sick. I'll show this one. This is Paul Laduca. Got a signed card right there. He inscribed four-time All-Star. He was at trade night, right? Former Dodger. 
and former New York Met Paul LaDuca was doing deals at trade night. So pretty sick right there, Paul LaDuca. And let's keep rolling here. I'm gonna show some Sacramento Kings stuff. I had a lot of people come up to me and say what's up and, and actually give me Sacramento Kings cards and DeMarcus Cousins. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm a huge Sacramento Kings fan, born and raised, um, and the Sacramento Kings mean a lot to you know the community of Sacramento. So just show you, just run through these, um, just some Sacramento Kings cards that people gave me, some local Niners stuff. Um, people are giving me a lot of this stuff. So I really appreciate that because these all go into a box. I'm actually gonna have to reorganize my Kings collection because I've gotten so many Sacramento Kings cards in the last you know eight months here. Um, pretty cool, Jemias Ramsey yellow. Um, just De'Aaron Fox silver. I love this kind of stuff. Just, you know, I can appreciate that. I love De'Aaron Fox. I think he's awesome. I'll also obviously love DeMarcus Cousins. He was great here when he played. And, um, you know, I love all the all the Kings players. So it's pretty cool. De'Aaron Fox rookie. Some Niners. Some more Kings. We got a uh, Tyrese Maxey right there. Marvin Bagley pink. And some DeMarcus Cousins right there. So those are some Kings cards. And then let's talk about this. This is the $5 box. I talked about this on my Instagram a little bit. The $5 box is really awesome. Show you guys some of the pickups from this. Everything in here is $5. I will tell you that uh, <laughs> there was no negotiations for lower than $5 at this uh, lot. Um, whenever you go up to a $5 bin, everyone is pretty firm. And if you see some of the stuff, I mean the first few days, the $5 boxes are being cleared out. A lot of people are like, oh, why would you waste time in the $5 boxes? Honestly, the $5 boxes, if you're trying to get into, you know, buying and selling sports cards, I, I will give a shout out to Card Collector too, Ryan, he always talks about this. Most of us start in the $5 boxes because that's where you find cards that were $5, that are worth $20, that are worth $30, or you buy them and that player gets called up, or that running back takes over, or that player ends up being an NBA star. It happens in the $5 box. So I highly recommend if you're looking for deals or just, you know, just to have some fun, $5 box is where it's at. So I'll show you guys some of the $5 box pickups. Picked up a Denzel Mims auto, New York Jets right there. Paris Campbell, Ohio State and Colts. Leonard Williams on card jersey auto rookie. Thought that was awesome. Uh, Kenyon Drake auto. This is pretty cool. Anytime I, f I can find a gold or a, any Genesis or super like, you know, out of 10, out of five type stuff for five bucks, you cannot beat that. Uh, Jamison Crowder, gold out of 10. This is pretty sick. Ian Kinsler auto on the baseball. I love this product. Sweet spot. Pretty sick right there. Ian Kinsler was awesome. This is a Draymond Green patch, two color. Artistic Voyage. Three of 25. The enclosed game worn material guaranteed by Panini America. We got a Joe Panic auto. Had to bring this back to Sacramento. San Francisco Giants. This is pretty sick. A lot of people were happy about this one. David Fletcher for the Angels Refractor Auto at a $4.99. Jalil Scott, four color patch auto for the Bravens. This is pretty sick. Aaron Harrison auto, I don't see too many of his autos. He was a big part in Kentucky out of 99. Joe Musgrove, right there. Jabba Chamberlain, one, uh, one color stripe auto. Pretty sick right there for the Yankees. I remember watching this guy. I remember playing the <laughs> MLB video games with him. Another Joe Musgrove. Another Joe Musgrove. People were just getting rid of Joe Musgrove like it was nothing, man. He had a... <laughs> This guy was a beast, um, still is for Padres. Joe Musgrove, Montrez Harrell Auto, Carlos Rodon, Dual Jersey Auto, Colby Allard Auto, another Aaron Harrison Auto, and then a David Njoku Blue Select Auto out of 49. So I mean, you know, could you say like, was that worth $5? Honestly, if you really factor all this in for $5 a pop, I can't beat that. You know, I picked up some really cool cards. Some of these guys are gonna make some plays. And this is just cool inventory to have, you know? So I wasn't mad about the $5 box right there. And then next I'll show you guys some sign cards I picked up. This is from Just Money Cards. Um, did a deal with him on the first trade night. It was in the video. Picked up a Ryan Sandberg um, PSA DNA authentic auto right there. They authenticate the autograph. This was signed, I'm assuming TTM. This is actually a 2017 Topps throwback. And then Gavin Lux. 2017 Bowman draft right there authenticated and then this is pretty sick I've never owned an auto of him, but anybody that's a San Francisco Giants fan will always talk about this guy will Clark Auto right there Pretty sick and that is the um, 1988 tops so pretty sick right there will Clark shot just money cards for the deal 
And then let's keep moving here. We'll do some rookies, just run through these. These are some various rookies I picked up. Picked up some lots, made some deals at trade nights. Uh, Pete Alonzo rookies, picked up a couple of those. DK Metcalf, Vlad Guerrero Jr., Pete Alonzo, Pete Alonzo, so pretty sick right there. Um, you got Joe Adele, Jordan Alvarez, Yoan Moncada, Victor Robles, uh, Jordan Alvarez. And these are from the breaks with Gin and Juice. Got Cam Reddish, Jordan Poole, Terrence Mann. Shout out to Lootbox TV. Had a great time with them. Cristiano Ronaldo, World Cup 2018. Got the Joe Burrow rookie, Justin Herbert, Pete Alonzo, DK Metcalf. I love DK Metcalf. A lot of people ask me, you know, why do you, why are you always picking up position players? I'm a sucker for wide receivers. I think they do the, do a lot of the work, and um, they don't always get love from the hobby and you know investment and love and all that stuff. But I actually like watching them, you know. And DK Metcalf for me, um, you know, everyone says Megatron, Megatron. I just like this guy a lot. You know, he has a lot of flair and, and he's he's awesome. So DK Metcalf is a guy that I really just enjoy picking up stuff of him. Pete Alonzo, Jordan Alvarez, C.D. Lamb, John Morant, uh, Tyler Hero, true rookie, Jordan Alvarez. I like Jordan Alvarez a lot. I know Houston Astros get a bad rap, but Jordan Alvarez is a beast. Um, and I, I just respect that, so I like him a lot. And then we'll do some more. Let's do some Kings PC stuff. We're kind of running through here. Um, here's some more DeMarcus Cousins and Sacramento Kings stuff. Got the Threads 2014-15 jersey card. The Crusade Gold Blue out of 149. This is pretty sick. The Revolution out of 100. That's really sick. I love Panini Revolution. I love on-card autos. I love the designs. Home court jersey. Select 15 silver. His first all-star game. I love this card. This is the Shimmer. Um, this was his first all-star game. I actually have bought his first all-star jersey. So... Pretty sick right there. Peja Gold right here. This is unbelievable out of 100. I love this card. DeMarcus Cousins Green. Marvin Bagley. DeMarcus Cousins Don Russ Rookies. Hassan Whiteside. Scalabissier. This is pretty cool. This is the Lakers DeMarcus Cousins out of 149. Uh, DeMarcus Cousins Rookie. Die cut out of 299. I actually don't have this card. Uh, DeMar uh, DeMarcus. <laughs> De'Aaron Fox Shockwave. DeMarcus Cousins Prisms. This is the Lakers uh, established threads. Enclosed game worn material used as a Golden State Warrior. Pretty cool right there. This is sick. I, the guy that brought me this, I actually love this card. I tried to pick this card up for years when the uh, Tyreek and DeMarcus were playing together. And um, I just never was able to pick it up. And, and this is the first one I've ever owned. Tyreek Evans, DeMarcus Cousins, dual auto. As a Sacramento Kings fan, these two played a huge role in uh, watching, for me watching the Kings. So Tyreek, DeMarcus Cousins, out of 49 right there. I love this card. I actually will buy a magnetic for this card. DeMarcus Cousins Gold out of 10. The Boogie Cousins Blue Influencers jersey card. Pretty cool. So we picked up the DeMarcus Cousins 415 Auto right there. Shout out to Armin Blue. And then this guy right here, um, huge part in the Sacramento Kings. We just signed him to a contract. Rashawn Holmes, rookie auto. Found this in a bargain bin. Um, pretty sick right there, Rashawn Holmes. On car rookie auto. And then this is sick. Armin Blue. Once again, a shout out. One of one diamond. I told people on Instagram Live if I ever propose to my future wife, can you imagine me getting down on one knee with this diamond DeMarcus Cousins? One of the craziest cards I own. Shout out to Armin Blue. This is a this is a keeper, PC for life right there for sure. Um DeMarcus Cousins breakout auto, rookie auto prestigious picks, the court kings out of a hundred. Kent Bazemore, one of one. DeMarcus Cousins, National 2014. Peja Stoyakovich, auto. Upper deck glass, beautiful. Marvin Bagley, absolute memorabilia, tools of the trade. DeMarcus Cousins, BGS 9, 1112, gold standard auto. Look at that, even says my name right there. Sick, love that. So pretty cool right there. And then let's get into some more stuff. Well, this is some like, you know, color, kind of just King's colored wave stuff. We'll get through this. The uh, De'Aaron Fox, colored rookie optic, Robert Woodard, Jemias Ramsey, green, yellow laser, De'Aaron Fox, per, uh, blue or purple, DeMarcus Cousins optic hollow, the blue out of 49, the purple, this is really sick right here, out of 149, 
Marvin Bagley, Orange Laser, Tyrese Halliburton, rookie, my guy, love this guy. Uh, Tyrese Maxey Green. All right, now let's show you guys some of the autographs and the hits. We'll keep moving here. Uh, just start with this pile. Pick these up in various trade nights and some deals. Uh, we got a Trent Grisham on-card rookie auto. Cam Johnson rookie jersey auto. Denzel Mims on-card rookie auto. And then my first Michael Vick auto. Uh, SPX, Supreme Swatches right there. Swatch Supremacy is what I should say. Marquise Brown jersey auto. Hunter Renfro blue auto. The Patrick Queen rookie auto contenders. And I got some more stuff here. These contenders autos I think got for five bucks each. Uh, Mecky Becton, AJ Terrell, and then we got a Thurman Thomas auto gold standard. Jerry Judy, Jersey rookie auto. Kevin Porter. Got a Kobe White uh, six way relic auto. Look at his auto. He's got to do some work on that. Kobe White. We need the full autograph back. Uh, Marquise Brown on card rookie auto. These are pretty sick. Sugar Sean O'Malley autos right there. Goodwin champions. Got a Reese Hoskins auto out of 25. Went to my high school. Um, definitely really cool to have that. Jalen Hurts auto. Rookie prism. Picked that up on the last trade night. Rudy Gobert signed card. Got a James Worthy auto right there. Derek Fisher. He has a beautiful looking auto, by the way. Derek Fisher. Bobby Dalbeck auto. And then this was my steal of the show. Just got this for three bucks. Darren Waller, contenders rookie auto. Pretty sick right there. And we'll keep moving here. We got a Legends Dort auto for contenders. Steve Nash on card Lakers select purple way of auto out of 25. Pretty sick. My first Steve Nash autograph. Brandon Clark, rookie penmanship. Julius Randall, national treasures. Knicks auto. Got a Roger Craig upper deck auto. Polar Bear Pete Alonzo, rookie on card autograph from Stadium Club. And then <laughs> I picked up a Daniel Jones gold standard rookie jersey auto. I had to pick up a Daniel Jones. Uh, the joke around that is a lot of people I know pick up Daniel Jones and I was like, all right, fine, I'll pick one up finally. So I ended up snagging one. Um, keep going here, got a Travis Kelsey rookie. Shout out to Jimmy Card uh, Kentucky Basketball Cards and Card Collector 2 Ryan for hosting an awesome trade night. Was able to meet PJ Washington. Just really excited to see you know what they have going there at the road show and with Ryan Card Collector 2. We've got the Texas Road Show and the California Road Show. Very happy for my boys Cody, Ryan, and Justin on uh, the expansion right there. It's gonna be sick. So we're all excited for you guys. Um, let's keep moving here. This is an Aaron Rodgers lot. Uh, love Aaron Rodgers, one of my favorite players. Winning ticket, stargazing. This is pretty sick, the absolute spectra, uh, absolute. This is from 2010, right there. And then some optics, and then these tops chrome, prism, and then some more tops chrome, Aaron Rodgers, prism, tops. I love tops chrome. So pretty sick right there. Aaron Rodgers, like I said, he's one of my favorite quarterbacks. I was able to meet him during the summer, so pretty sick right there. And we'll keep moving here. This is all Tom Brady. There's some sick Brady's in here. I'll, I'll skip through to the, I think they're out of order, but uh, Brady Gronk, look at this, all pro 2010, all pro Brady, love that uniform. Then the 2014, I think, 2012, sorry, 2012 Chrome Brady. You can't go wrong with Tom Brady Chrome stuff. Um, so I picked up a bunch of just Brady cards. These are pretty sick, some more Chromes. I picked these up in a, in a deal with a guy. This is the 2013 Topps Chrome Brady's right there. So like I said, you can't go wrong with Brady. I wish I could have gotten a Brady auto, but I'm still happy to pick up these cool Brady cards. And I picked up a nut sick Brady that I'll show you guys at the end. Uh, another Brady right there. Some more Topps Chrome Brady's. These are the 2012's as well. So tons of Tom, Tommy right there. So awesome. And then we'll keep going here. Um, these are also some Brady's. These are like Buccaneer Brady cards. I picked up all these in a lot. Uh, you guys probably saw me wheel and deal for these. Picked up all these. I love this uh, elite football right there, 2010. Love the uniform he's in there. Um, and then these are all just Buccaneers, Tom Brady cards. So pretty sick right there. Was able to pick up some Tom Brady's. Um, can't go wrong with him. He's the GOAT. And we'll keep moving here. We got Jordan Alvarez Refract. These are some, okay, these are all refractor and colored, so I'll show these off. Uh, Jordan Alvarez Refractor, Got Game Green, Anthony Davis, LeBron James, Jam Monsters, 
DK Metcalf Illusions, Cameron Johnson Silver. Really like Cameron Johnson, came out of UNC. Red, white, and blue. The red uh, cracked ice, Cameron Johnson. Tua, um, right there. Tua Green. This is pretty sick. Adrian Peterson, 2012 All Pro Camo at a 499. I love this card. This is pretty sick. The camo version of the AP. Love that. Um, Ryan Tannehill at a 75 rookie. And then the Cameron Johnson Pink. There's some colored rookies right there. And we'll keep moving here. Let's get it. I'll show you guys some of my favorite pickups. We'll get into this right uh, right now before we get into the slabs. I'm just going to show you guys my favorite stuff I picked up. Um, Magic Johnson, Blue Wave, uh, Blue Wave, Blue Jersey Auto from Select, Game Worn Material out of 20. My first Patrick Mahomes Auto, 2017 Pantheon, Jersey Autograph, Patrick Mahomes, right there out of 49. Traded my Christian Pulisic PSA 10 Multicolor in 600 cash. So it was about 1425 if you uh, want the number for that. Jersey Rookie Auto of Patrick Mahomes, couldn't beat that. Got a second year Mike Trout auto. The reason I love this card so much is I love Mike Trout, but I love the autograph. That is a total 2012 Trout signature right there. You know, you can see a 2020 signature. You can see people's autograph change. That is a 2012 Mike Trout autograph. That's the difference on this card for me. Uh, picked up this Derek White. This is kind of a big card. The RPA with the Spurs logo right there. B, uh, PSA 9, 10 auto. Lamar Jackson, Green Prism, PSA 9. Shea Gilgis Alexander out at 199, just got maxed out in OKC. I thought this was really cool. Picked up this Devin Booker, uh, purple PSA 9 right there, and it is out of 49. Uh, my first Jeter rookie, um, surprisingly, 1993 tops, Derek Jeter, PSA 9 rookie, got a really good deal on that. This is from Star Stock Investor Jimbo. I actually love this card just as a personal. Um, you know, LeBron James, uh, when he was playing in New York, uh, against New York, this was a huge, just looking, uh, cool looking card. When I was in high school, LeBron going to the garden and, and attempting to drop, you know, 50, 60 points was crazy. So I thought that was a really cool card. Jimbo, I told him, I was like, dude, that card looks sick. He's like, you want it? I'm like, yeah. I was like, and how much? He's like, no, just have it. I was like, all right. <laughs> so that was really awesome. Cam Newton, PSA nine, just always wanted to own a Cam Newton graded rookie. I used to have these, um, so my first year collecting was 2011, so I remember Cam Newton in the chase. Probably one of my favorite pickups, this Brady Orange uh, Refractor from 2008 Topps Crown PSA 9. Look up the pop reports on these. This is out of 425. This is the League Leaders version. Just a really sick card. It's the Copper Refractor of Brady. I'm telling you guys, look into those 08, 07 Brady's, the Rogers, all those cards. They're really sick, so definitely happy about that. Let's get into some soccer. I didn't pick up as much soccer as I would have liked to, but I uh, picked up four soccer cards. Paul Pogba, 2014 Prism PSA 9, uh, 2018 Prism 9 right there. So Paul Pogba, I know, <laughs> I literally picked up Paul Pogba. That was it. Um, we'll get into these two real quick. Uh, I forgot to show this. This is the DeMarcus Cousins Green Scope BGS 9.5 right there. Three of eight. That's what I just said. Three of eight. Look at that. Boom. And then this is pretty cool. Shout out to DJ Ski. Shout out to Cali Grass. My boy Warren was able to meet both of them. Um, DJ Ski is an awesome, awesome dude. Um, he has did this custom Chicago, um, you know, branded out cards. These are, I don't know if they're reselling or what, but I'm keeping this one. This is the Kanye West infused national Chicago with Michael Jordan right there. So shout out to DJ Ski. That's so sick. I feel like Mike, he did a great job with these, man. I'm, I'm really awesome. I really just want to say uh, it was awesome meeting you and uh, appreciate that, man. You were really cool when I went up to you. Mm -hmm. uh, let's get into some slabs. We're kind of reaching the end here. We'll get into the slabs and I got one more thing to show. So let's do this. We got basketball slabs. We'll run through these, picked up a bunch of slabs. DeAndre Hunter, nine. Brandon Clark, nine. Um, Rui Hachimura, Kevin Porter Jr. This is pretty sick. The Dwayne Wade Mosaic, nine. Luka Doncic, PSA 7. Uh, LeBron James, 8. 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> Zion Williamson, purple. Or no, pink right there. LeBron James, slab and dash. Thought this is a cool looking card. Uh, not like value wise, but I just thought it was cool, slab and dash. So pretty cool right there. And then last two things of slabs. We got an Aaron Holiday BGS 9 auto. I think this was like 10 bucks out of 99. So I'm telling you guys, some of the prices on this stuff. It was just a no-brainer just to pick it up just because the fact is to actually slab something like this up i mean good luck you know so thought it was awesome to pick some of this stuff up kobe white nine uh karuk's nine 
Blue Wave or Blue Velocity, Anthony Davis, nine. Ja Morant, uh, nine emergent. And then the red, white, and blue, RJ Barrett. Thought this was really cool. So awesome right there. And then last of the basketball stuff, RJ Barrett. Ja Morant, nine. I'm telling you, this RJ Barrett was priced at 14, and I think I got this for nine dollars. So I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys, some of the averages out deals, when I would buy a bunch of stuff, people were really uh, cool about that. Um, John Morant, Threads 9, <clears throat> Rui Achimura Optic 10, John Morant Recon 9, Zion Williamson 9, and then the Zion Williamson 9. So I have some Zions and Jaws now, which is pretty sick. And I, I like, I'm gonna be honest with you, like all BS aside, if you take value out of it, I like these Luminance cards. You know, I think these are really sick. The John Morant one's are really popular because it's like one of the, it is huge dunk, but I like the way these cards look. Um, so it's pretty sick to get a couple of those ions in the jaws. I mean, the prism stuff's cool, don't get me wrong, but like if you're buying prism stuff, you know, at least back back when it was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be, you know, you bought, you bought a Zion for like, I don't know, 500 bucks and it was worth 800 for like a base prism rookie. It's, it's crazy, crazy stuff to look back on. Um, I don't know what they're at now. They might be like 250 to 300 on a nine. I don't know what it is, but let's do some baseball stuff. Keep moving here. Jordan Alvarez, uh, Chrome, the opening day rookie, not a uh, 10 and a nine. And then these are, I actually have these pretty organized. So Gavin Lux seven, Gavin Lux nine. And then pretty sick right here, Aaron Judge, 2017 tops. He's actually grow, grew up in Northern California. Um, where he's from is called Linden, California. So a lot of people out there, um, I know a couple people that live there. So Aaron Judge, Dennis Eckersley, nine, the SP. I thought this was sick. Um, and then picked up some Vlad Guerrero Juniors. I actually picked up a lot of Vlads. Um, so Vlad Guerrero Jr., uh, batting nine, batting nine, the update Chrome nine, update Chrome batting eight, and the update nine. So a lot of Vladdies, he's playing awesome. And then picked up a bunch of uh, Luis Robert. I probably said his name wrong. Robert? Oh man, somebody correct me in the comments. I know it's happening, it's gonna happen. Um, we'll just, <laughs> here we go, 2020 20 tops, uh, nine, another nine, nine. These are all nines. So Luis, all nines. And then we got the ending it on a Fernando Tatis, PSA nine right there, rookie, pretty sick. So that's all the graded stuff. And I need to show you guys one more thing. One more thing I'm going to show you guys, and this is going to end the recap. All right, guys, so the last part of this recap, uh, I want to show you guys everything, but if I show you everything, it's going to take a long time. But wait, basically what I'm going to tell you is I walked into the National, I think the first day one or day two, and this guy had a complete $3 box. And, you know, usually, you know, you see $3 boxes, and it's kind of like, you know, what what's in there, what's in there? And, I you know, I got to be honest with you. Everything in those boxes was Immaculate Collection, which if you don't know anything about Immaculate Collection, here it is. It is all game-worn material. And I'm not talking about your, you know, middle-of-the-road people here, middle-of-the-mall people. You know, we had Amari Stoudemire. We got DeMar DeRozan. Um, Jimmy Butler right there. We got Pal Gasol. And, you know, Tony Parker. Andre Iguodala. Manu Ginobili, and you know, just just tons, guys. I'm telling you, if if I could, I would. I would go through all these. Marcus Smart, Powell Gasol, Bradley Beal, all of this stuff was three dollars each. And uh, you know, if you walk into a show and you saw something like this, tell me you would not buy all this. And I, you know, I got to show you. Actually, going to give a huge shout out to my brother Tyler because he helped me. Because I don't know much about UFC, but I noticed that there was Dustin Poirier relics in there, Jose Aldo. Robbie Lawler is about to fight. I didn't know this until my brother told me. Anthony Pettis, you know, just some really cool relics in here. There's some football stuff, there's hockey stuff. There was even DeMarcus Cousins stuff in there. So I, I dropped, I think I dropped like almost, I think it was like 800 bucks, but all of it's game worn. There's some patches. Um, you know, I'd love to go through this stuff. I think maybe on Instagram Live one day, you know, I'll show you guys, but there was autographs in there. We got Harrison Barnes, Tim Hardaway Jr., Steven Jackson. Here's a KG, two game-worn materials. Um, if you don't know the difference between game-worn and player-worn, player-worn was worn in a photo shoot. Game-worn is actually, you know, worn in a game. The terminology seems very close, but, you know, if I, if I was buying cards, I would want it to be game-worn. And, you know, one thing I wish they would do is I wish they could date the game. You know, they just grab a couple of jerseys from a ga couple games in March, and they say, hey, this was worn in the Knicks versus Celtics game on March 17th, you know? But uh, obviously they don't have that, but you know, hopefully we'll see that soon. I know Topps does you know, the sticker on there. 
But, you know, I just got to tell you guys, I, I really enjoyed the national. I, I appreciate everyone that, you know, said what's up and, and hung out. And, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed all the content. Got as much as we could. We recorded the days. We did some behind the scenes. And we just had a really good time out there. It was my first national. And I will always remember it as one of the best car shows I've ever been to. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, and I will talk to you guys later. See ya.